Welcome to the Back Pew. This past weekend, we celebrated the baptism of our Lord, remembering Jesus entering into the waters of the Jordan. And that's a time when he steps out and into his adult ministry. So this week we hear the, about the first disciples. Jesus is walking along and John the Baptist sees him and he points out Jesus saying, look, he's the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And John's disciples then go following Jesus. And Jesus asks them a question. What is it that you're looking for? That, that's what the English sounds like. But in the original language, what it really sounds like is, what are you seeking? Isn't that an interesting question? These disciples who have been following John the Baptist, who have been seeking this something new in their life and something deeper in their life, are now going after Jesus, who is the one who takes away the sin of the world. Sin, folks, is, is not something easily removed. Yet they're seeking something, something even more than that. What is it that you are seeking? Are you looking to God for comfort? For meaning? For purpose? Are you looking to God or the church to validate your feelings? Are you looking just to be told that you're okay? I suggest that we be honest with ourselves and go deeper. Go deeper to ask the question, what are we really seeking? Because this one Jesus that we follow this Jesus is the resurrected Lord Jesus. This is a Jesus who can transform life, which means life's going to change. That means that for each of us in our status quo, that day by day we are called forward into a new life in Jesus. A new life that means maybe we will need to change how we live, how we act, how we speak. Jesus seeks us because he loves us and he wants to give us that abundant life. What are you seeking? Go deep, folks. Go deep. See and grow into the beauty of God's love and the freedom of who we have been created to be. Thanks for watching The Back Pew. I hope that this has been meaningful. I invite you to pass it along, share it, like it. And most of all, I hope to see you this week at First Lutheran Church. Come to Galveston. Come on over at 5.30 Saturday or 10 o'clock on Sunday. And let us seek the Lord together.